Bonjour, and welcome for a new food tour from Paris Top Tips. Today, this food tour will bring us along the beautiful streets of Montmartre. So come with me and I'll make you discover my best food finds in Montmartre. As you can see behind me, we are starting our tour at Metro Anvers on line 2. So buckle up and let's go and discover great food in Montmartre. Let me start with the rent. Popeyes joins the growing roster of American fast food joints, establishing themselves on the streets of Paris, contributing to the ongoing trend of culinary colonization by the US. Isn't it disheartening to see Paris, known for its gastronomic excellence, succumb to this homogenization of taste? All right, enough with the ranting. The 20 food discoveries I'll share in this video serve as an evidence that we are adept at preserving and honoring our local cuisine, ensuring it remains distinct from the influence of fast food chains. Here's our first stop. La Cure Gourmande is a renowned French confectionery and biscuit company that specializes in artisanal sweets and treats. Established in 1989, La Cure Gourmande quickly gained popularity for its traditional recipes and high quality ingredients. The company is famous for its beautifully crafted biscuits, chocolates, candies and other delicacies, all made with meticulous attention to detail and a commitment to preserving French culinary heritage. These sweets, for example, are Calisson, one of my all-time favorites, made with almonds, candied melon and orange, an icing sugar blended into a smooth paste and topped with a thin layer of raw icing. To me, just a pure delight. With its charming stores adorned with colorful displays of sweets and nostalgic packaging, La Cure Gourmande offers customers an immersive experience, reminiscent of an old-fashioned candy shop. Over the years, La Cure Gourmande has expanded both nationally and internationally, but despite its global reach, the company remains dedicated to its artisanal roots ensuring that each sweet treat embodies the essence of French gastronomy and savoir-faire. Returning to Rue de Steinkerk, now dominated entirely by tourist-centric souvenir stores, there are still, as we've seen with La Cure Gourmand, some exceptional food shops, thankfully. Some good Italian ice creams at Amorino, Excellent chocolates and cakes from Brittany at Georges Larnicole, which I've already presented during my food tour in Saint Germain video. Here comes now the second of our 20 food finds.
Lindt is a renowned Swiss chocolate here, known for its high quality chocolates and confectionery products. Founded in 1845, Lind clearly is the most famous Swiss chocolate maker. All that due to its rich history of chocolate making expertise. The company is famous for its smooth and creamy chocolate bars, truffles, pralines and other indulgent treats. Lindt is celebrated worldwide for its dedication to craftsmanship, premium ingredients and iconic gold foil packaging that you especially find around its Easter bunnies. I know this might sound unconventional to some, but I have a strong preference for Swiss chocolate over French chocolate, as I find French chocolate tends to be too dark for my taste. If you're up for it, you can ascend the hill for a visit to the Sacred Heart Basilica. However, if you're keen on continuing the foot tour, simply turn left. If you're up for the uphill journey, consider using the Montmartre Funicular available for the price of a standard Metro T plus TK. Next on our agenda is Christophe Roussel, renowned as one of the finest pâtissier chocolatier in the area. Cakes, chocolates, macarons, every treat here is absolutely delightful. I had the pleasure of trying their fruit jellies and they were absolutely perfect. Wouldn't these chocolate Eiffel towers make a lovely souvenir to bring back to your friends? Our next culinary discovery awaits just a mere 10 meters away. Bashi ice cream is highly regarded for its rich flavors and creamy textures. While there are many so-called classic flavors available, my personal favorite at Bashir is the Ashta ice cream. A sumptuous Fiordi Latte on orange blossom ice cream, adorned with a generous serving of delightful shredded pistachios and covered with whipped cream. Each time I indulge in this ice cream, it's an explosion of flavors in my mouth. The delicate essence of Fiordi Latte, the aromatic touch of orange blossom, and the satisfying crunch of pistachios. Truly a delightful experience. And trust me, indulging in one of these ice creams leaves you feeling completely satisfied. It can actually be quite challenging to embark on a food tour afterward.
While this is primarily a food tour video, I highly recommend stopping by Pilon if you ever find yourself in the area. It's a fantastic and entertaining shop to explore. If the chocolate Eiffel Tower from Christophe Roussel didn't captivate you, perhaps you'll be tempted by the Eiffel Tower shaped toothbrushes at Pilon. Now let's take a left and go down Rue des Trois Frères to Fric Frac, number 5 on our map. Fric Frac's specialty, whether to enjoy on the go or savor on site, is their delicious croque monsieur. A croque monsieur is a classic French dish, consisting of a grilled ham and cheese sandwich, sometimes topped with bechamel sauce and grated cheese, before being toasted to perfection. At Fric Frac, they offer five different variations of the classic croque monsieur, ensuring there's something to satisfy every palate. Please note that the prices displayed here are for takeaway orders. If you choose to dine in, there will be a slightly higher cost. The recipes for this croque monsieur have been crafted by a chef who holds the prestigious title of Meilleur Ouvrier de France, one of the highest distinctions a chef can achieve in France. Now continue up Rue Chap until you spot the Amonet logo. At Amonet, much like at Fric Frac, you have the option to either take your meal away or enjoy it on site. And just like at Fric Frac, you can indulge in an authentic French culinary classic, the Cordon Bleu. Cordon Bleu is a dish of meat wrapped around cheese, then breaded and pan-fried or deep-fried. Here, the meat component is typically either turkey and ham or turkey and dried beef. It's finger-licking good. Let's continue walking up the street until we reach a point where we are positioned above some steep staircases. Now just cross the street, walk 50 meters, and here is our next place to visit, Roselle Café. I think you guessed it, Roselle Café is a crêperie, one of the best in Montmartre. The crêpes here are crafted with organic flour served directly from Brittany, the birthplace of crêpes. Sweet crêpes are available for takeaway, while savory ones are exclusively offered for on-site dining. But then, pairing a bowl of Brittany cider with your crêpe is an absolute delight.
our next food find is just 30 meters away. Yes, I know that at the beginning of this video, I expressed frustration about the influx of American fast food chains in France. However, I must admit that this burger joint, Coff, has emerged as one of the top culinary spots to explore in Montmartre. Let's get inside. I ordered a cheeseburger with some coleslaw and a coke. We'll see what I get. It looks yummy. Will it be? Well, this cheeseburger was a pure delight. One of the best I've ever had, with a sauce to die for. A bit expensive, but totally worth the money. Attention Gourmet is in search of authenticity. Shinyapa, a charmingly small bakery, open just four days a week and for a mere three hours each day, is a true gem for enthusiasts of natural sourdough bread. People line up here eagerly, ensuring they secure one of these amazing Japanese bakers' bread loaves. Our next culinary discovery is quite special. It's a bakery catering specifically to individuals following a gluten-free diet. The owner here specializes in crafting gluten-free bread, cakes, pizzas, and even croissant and pain au chocolat, a rarity to find in Paris. So, I've never tried gluten-free products, so this would be a first one for me with this pain au chocolat. You might recognize this green grocer. It's where Amélie Poulain buys her fruits and vegetables. At this delicatessen, an extension of a renowned restaurant nearby, you can treat yourself to excellent sandwiches and snacks. I purchased their Blanquette de Veau and cooked it at home. It turned out to be an excellent meal.
There's only one cheese shop in my list, but it's an excellent one. The same street, a bit further along, there's a bakery I'll discuss in a moment. How about grabbing some good cheese here and a baguette from the bakery to create the perfect French casse-croûte? Or you can purchase those creamy fruit yogurts. They provide wooden spoons here. Next to the cheese shop is an awesome chocolate here, Le Chocolat du Casse. Alain Ducasse is a world-renowned chef. In 2012, with all his restaurants combined, he held an impressive 21 Michelin stars, four more than Gordon Ramsay. With such a renowned chef behind it, you can clearly bet that the chocolate here is exceptional. Yes, there are some Easter eggs in this video. If you have a craving for Greek cuisine, Pelops is the perfect delicatessen for you. If Italian cuisine is more to your liking than Greek food, you'll be pleased to discover La Bottega, where you can enjoy fantastic Italian cuisine. The family who owns La Bottega hails from Sardinia, the stunning Italian island located south of Corsica. However, you'll discover products from all regions of Italy here. Our next destination is conveniently just across the road. Although it may not be a typical stop for visitors, I make a point to include a butcher shop in my food tours. It's such an integral part of French culture. And this one, Boucherie des Abbesses, is definitely worth a visit with its beautiful shop.
As our tour draws to a close, we'll explore our final five food discoveries in this quaint corner of Montmartre, nestled at the intersection of Rue Le Pic and Rue des Abbesses. If you're a fan of seafood, you're in luck. Personally, when it comes to unconventional delicacies, I definitely prefer snails over oysters. If you consider the average ratings from both Google and TripAdvisor, Maison Aleph Patisserie emerges as the clear favorite in Montmartre. And I wholeheartedly agree with this choice. I adore their tarts, so delicate, so fragrant. If you're seeking excellent pastries, albeit perhaps more traditional, Alexine Patissu Bakery, located just 50 meters from Maison Alain, will surely meet your expectation. Plus, their bread is excellent. Now let's cross the street to what may be the tiniest shop in Paris. Interestingly, it also happens to hold the number one spot in the TripAdvisor ranking for desserts in Paris. For a crepe to go, that's the place to be. Even though the shop is tiny, you can enjoy either savory buckwheat galette or sweet crepes here. I opted for a sweet butter lemon sugar crepe. Let's find a bench to sit and enjoy our treats. It is very good. Maurice Lumet has a renowned bakery on the other side of the hill. Here on Rue Le Pic, you can also savor its delicious bread, pastries and cakes, 
while indulging in a relaxing coffee break. Just across the street from Boris Lumet's bakery lies our final food discovery, a charming grocery store named L'Epicerie du Terroir. I adore these grocery stores where you typically find the epitome of French gastronomy. And it's an ideal way to conclude your journey, filling your suitcases with exceptional French gastronomic products before returning to your home. That concludes our tour of 20 food finds in Montmartre. As you stroll down Rue Le Pic, you might also want to glance at La Mère de Famille, although it's worth noting that its quality isn't quite what it once was. A final glimpse at the Brasserie des Deux Moulins, where Amélie Poulain worked in the Amélie movie. A last look over the Moulin Rouge. And here we are at Metro Blanche, marking the end of our photo today. I hope you liked it. <laughs>